Today on Combustion Chamber, we have this kick-ass rat rod that was built from scratch. Let's get after it. Welcome back to Combustion Chamber. On today's episode, we have this really awesome rat rod you see right here behind me. It wasn't sourced from anything, it was built from scratch, and it has a ton of power. Let's talk to the owner for more about this awesome rat rod. Hey Rob, thank you very much for being on the show today. We appreciate it. Yeah, definitely, Casey. What inspired you to build this rat rod? Um, I just, uh, I wanted to have something to cruise on the street. I had been riding sport bikes and stuff, and I uh, was kind of over that. And I wanted to build something, so I started digging and I, I was looking around and I like the styling of rat rods, but some of the ones I saw out there from an engineering perspective were kind of scary. So I thought, well, what if I build something with a rat rod style, but a little bit more solid engineering and kind of throw in some elements of stuff I think are cool, old school hot rods, World War II aircraft, muscle cars, try to see if I can build a car that wraps all that together. Now, is this sourced from anything? No, no, I built this straight from scratch. This is right out of my head with uh, just a bunch of different inspirations and uh, started as a sketch on a piece of paper. What kind of power does this thing have? The engine's dynoed at 504 horsepower and 532 foot-pounds of torque. So that was on a water brake engine dyno when we were breaking it in. So it's uh, plenty to, to scoot this little thing around. Well, how is it to drive this? First impressions to drive it are that it's, uh, it's kind of brutal. But once you kind of get used to it, it, it's actually really smooth. It has a lot of torque and it's light, uh, light flywheel. So you know, it takes a little bit to get used to everything. But once you get that down, it, it's pretty docile and it's happy in traffic. You can cruise it around. And then um, when you push down on the right pedal, that's when the fun starts. Well, why don't you say we get this on the road? Yeah, sounds good. reaction do you get when you take this out to a show? Uh, it's kind of mixed. It really depends on uh, the background that the person has. A lot of people immediately recognize that it's something fabricated from scratch. Uh, other people ask me what year is it, what did it start out as. Uh, but the one consistent reaction is smiles and uh, just kind of a childlike wonderment, really. That's very cool. Driving this rat rod today was outstanding. I really love that it is open air and it has a lot of power. Now it's got a real radical camshaft in it. It was a little tricky for me to get the hang of it, but once I did, it was awesome to drive. We want to thank the owner Rob for coming out here today and letting us film this for y'all. Do you have a rat rod or do you desire to build one? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and for more combustion chamber, hit that subscribe button. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Combustion Chamber. We want to keep Combustion Chamber independent and about you, so check us out on Patreon. And for behind the scenes content and exclusive news, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links for all of that are right below.